Professor, I want to monitor n and dimethylacetamide for explosion prevention purposes, but will the GDA-80 gas detector head detect at 100% LUEL? The flash point of n and dimethylacetamide is 77.2 degrees Celsius. The operating temperature range of the GDA-80 only goes up to a maximum of 53 degrees Celsius, so you won't be able to monitor it at 100% LEL. What's a flash point? How is it related to the operating temperature range of a gas detector? The flash point is the temperature at which a fuel reaches 100% LEL, or in other words, its explosive range. N N dimethylacetamide won't reach 100% LEL within the usable temperature range of the GDA80, so you would be monitoring it at a lower concentration. This time, I'm going to start off by explaining combustion, and then we'll get into the flash point. Before we think about the flash point, let's first learn about the combustion of substances. Combustion refers to the phenomenon that is accompanied by heat and light when a substance rapidly reacts to a substance that contains oxygen. Do you know what the three elements that set off combustion are? A flammable substance, oxygen, and lastly, fire. That's right. If any one of these is missing, then combustion will not occur. By the way, Combustible gas detectors are used for the purpose of preventing explosions. An explosion refers to a combustion occurrence that is accompanied by a loud boom and a blast of air when this combustion phenomenon occurs in a chain reaction. Next, let's look at what we talked about a moment ago, flash point. When considering combustion, if the fuel is a liquid, other important conditions come into play apart from the three elements. You know that the surface of the liquid is continually evaporating, and the higher the temperature gets, the more vapor is released, right? Yes. If the flammable vapor evaporated and released from the liquid combined with oxygen and fire, in other words, the three elements come together, then it's dangerous because combustion will occur, right? Actually, even when the three elements of combustion are present, it doesn't always mean that it will burn. If the temperature is low and there is too little vapor, or if the temperature is high and there is too much vapor, combustion will not occur. The ratio of vapor to air is called the explosive range. The minimum value is called the lower explosive limit, and the maximum value is called the upper explosive limit. If the ratio goes out of this range, combustion will not occur. So, that means you can tell if the LUELU will be passed depending on the temperature. Here is where the flash point we talked about earlier comes in. The flash point refers to the temperature of a flammable liquid and it releases vapor in a concentration equal to the LEL. In other words, the temperature required for the flammable liquid to combust because of the heat. If the temperature of a liquid is lower than this temperature, it will not combust even if heat comes in close contact with the vapor on the surface of the liquid. The maximum temperature in the GDA-80's operating temperature range is 53 degrees Celsius, right? For example, since the flashpoint of substances like N-N-dimethylacetamide and n methyl 2 pyrrolidone are higher than 53 degrees Celsius, that means if we use the GDA-80 to detect their concentrations, we'd be monitoring them at less than 100% LUEL. Even if we can't measure at 100% LUEL, if we do things like change the detection range so that our full scale is less than 100% LEL, detecting leaks at low concentrations would still be a way to prevent explosions. Also, I want you to know about and remember the ignition point in addition to the flash point. The ignition point is the temperature at which a combustible substance will naturally ignite and start to combust when heated while airborne. A substance will naturally combust if the temperature goes above the ignition point, so you can't measure its concentration in an environment that is hotter than the ignition point. So the flash point and the ignition point vary depending on the substance. Yes, it does. A substance's flash point and ignition point are written in its SDS, so be sure to have a look at it.